Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for your love and support. I truly do appreciate it. Welcome to those of you new just tuning in. This is the Daily Telepathy for those of you that identify with the Twin Flame Connection. If you are new, um, I do um, the additional days on the um, Patreon. My Patreon link is below if you're wanting to get more of Twin Flame readings uh, more often through the week. There will be an extended version um, as well, so you'll be able to get um, the extended version of this video and past videos, okay? So since this is general, that means it's not going to resonate uh, with every twin flame out there. Uh, so please keep that in mind. I do offer personal readings, so if you're interested in booking one of those with me, that information is going to be below the video description where it says show more, as well as... Um, the majority of the items you see will be in my Etsy shop, including uh, my decks. I will let you know which ones are mine as we go along. But if you're in the United States and you're interested in purchasing uh, any of my decks, uh, you can only get them from my Etsy site or my shop. But if you're international, please send me an email. I will send you a link to order. If you hear me say he or she when I uh, talk about the masculine or the feminine, I'm just talking about energies. Masculine uh, or feminine can be male or female, so just take it how it resonates or applies in your situation. Also, the energies can definitely be flipped. So when I say I'm talking about you, I could be talking about your person, okay? So what I'm going to do is get uh, the energy that the masculine is in towards the feminine, feminine towards the, the masculine, see what's going on in their uh, current situation. And then uh, we'll focus on where is the masculine's headspace when it comes uh, to the feminine at this time, okay? And then in an extended, I will uh, clarify those further as well as see what's going on in his personal situation, uh, the reason why he may be thinking or uh, in a particular energy uh, towards the feminine at this time, okay? All right, so with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get started uh, with this reading. So... This is um, a new deck I added over here to my collection. Uh, this isn't mine or anything, but this is a new deck to my deck of tarot cards. <laughs> it's called the Sacred uh, Destiny Oracle. So this is the energy the masculine is in towards the feminine. So he's seen some type of potential here, okay? Uh, the pent uh, there's a mountain here, so maybe seeing that maybe something can grow. Uh, is it a possibility? Um, you know, but some type of potential energy when it um, comes to the feminine. So this is the witch's tarot. So we have the shadow side, okay? So there may be something that he realized here that um, either the the shadow side is the devil card um, to, uh, in tarot. So number 15 could be significant. It's also six. So maybe there's something that happened recently that he discovered. Um, this feminine looks like she's scared. He, it's almost like he's hiding himself too. So he could be either hiding his potential or thinking about the potential that he has uh, with this feminine. He could be battling some type of demons, pride, ego, um, even some type of obsession. He could be obsessing over uh, the situation with the feminine. So this is my twin flame messages. And then we have, yeah, see, what are you doing to me? So there is some type of confusion energy here. Maybe um, he is looking at, is there potential here? Maybe he's confused. He's not uh, sure. He could be going through a dark uh, night of the um, soul, if I could speak. This is Capricorn energy. So some of you guys could be doing uh, dealing with the, uh, Capricorn as well. So it feels like he's like questioning something like, what are you doing to me? Um, maybe he thought that you guys have potential, something happened, or he's addressing this energy of having potential, but whatever it is, he seems to be confused um, about it when it comes to the feminine, okay? I'm also using the one candle for this reading. I forgot to mention that. All right, so let's see where the feminine is at towards the masculine. Focus, okay? So she is in this very focused energy. She may be focused on the masculine. She could be focused, not being focused on the masculine. Um, there is, it looks like snow here. <clears throat> so there could be some type of uh, strategic energy that she is in, planning, 
um, like I said, it could have to do with the masculine or it could have to do with whatever she's going uh, with or, or dealing with in her life. And then we have here, this focus is King of Swords. Yeah, so there's again that kind of, um, the King of Swords can be cold, can be detached. But he is somebody that is um, going to um, be a planner. He's going to think logically. He's not going to think from a place of being in the heart space. So the feminine uh, could be in the King of Swords energy right now. She could be, you know, making plans, delivering communication, and very focused on that, okay? Focused on keeping things strict and in line a certain way, okay? And thinking in her head. So this is uh, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius energy. So some of you guys could be that, or you could have it in your chart. Again, or you could be seeing the masculine in this energy. So it says, my past really did a number on me, but I'm healing. Yeah. So I feel like the feminine may be feeling like she's healing from this cold energy, and she's focused and determined to heal this. Okay. So definitely going to have some clarity. The sword is up, so I feel like some truth was spoken by this feminine to this masculine, uh, but she is definitely um, healing or already healed, okay? Because she's uh, in a very focused energy when it comes to this uh, masculine here. Okay, so let's see what's going on in their cur current situation. This is my Cupid's Desires Oracle. If you're new, it does have some sexual references, so if that offends you, this would be a good time to click off. So we have pin, holding hands down, come back, return, jaguar, chaser, you're the mark, okay? So I'm getting a couple messages here when I'm holding this. Someone could be feeling like very uh, tied, um, like they can't do anything, like their hands are being tied. But they do want to come back. They do want to return. But something could be preventing them. I'm seeing the two hearts. Not all of my cards has have the hearts in them. So I do feel like there's a lot of love here between this uh, feminine. So then we have a jaguar, jaguar here. Chaser, you're the mark. And if you look there with this focus card, this is not a jaguar. Uh, but it is like, you know, looks like a um, cat. I mean, it could be. But it looks more to me like a, um, a cheetah. Um, but the feminine is in this energy of focus, okay? So um, I feel like this might be the feminine that could be pursuing other things because she feels like the masculine could be feeling like his hands are being uh, held back before he returned. Even though they both want to return because this is going on, uh, this is a situation between them. Okay, so let's get some more messages here for what's going on uh, between the masculine and the feminine at this time. I'm just going to move these cards over for a second just so I have a little more room. Okay. All right. So this is my Cupid's Desires love messages. This is um, also uh, compliments to Cupid's Desires oracle there. So let's see what else is going on between the masculine and the feminine okay so we have dominate i like when you take control so someone is kind of like i feel like in a dominant energy right now so they could be in their ego we do have the devil card there okay so someone could be like wanting to come back really focused on you wanting to pursue you, but they could be in this very controlling energy in their ego right now is kind of what I'm getting. And then we have here, apology. I'm sorry I waited this long to apologize. So I feel like this masculine does want to apologize, but he could be um, holding back from doing that at this time because he's still in his ego. So maybe at some point he will do that once he figures out why he's so confused, okay? Because remember, he's in this energy of potential, okay? So I'm sorry I waited this long to apologize. So this would be a masculine that maybe you've been, um, you know, maybe they didn't apologize right away or you guys have been in some type of separation for a very long time. So we have center. I feel at home when I'm inside you. So 
I feel like that is kind of almost more of the feminine here. Um, she may be feeling relaxed. She's pursuing uh, this energy of being centered in the home place because she's in this energy of my my past really did a number on me, but I'm healing. So that means she went through a lot of stuff, which would make sense why she would be in the uh, King of Swords uh, energy. So I feel like there's uh, some type of pursuit here uh, that she's doing when it comes to home. Now, the masculine could also be ready to pursue the feminine as well. Um, after he figures out why is he confused because he does see potential here. All right. So this is my mystery house oracle. Let's get three cards to see what's going on in the thoughts when the masculine thinks about the feminine. Let's see what's going on there. What is the energies here that the masculine is thinking about when it comes to the feminine? Okay. So he's thinking it. So we have the best award here, a knowledge, recognition, scavenger hunt, 3D, material wants, disguise, costume, pretending. So what he's thinking about here is that either he knows that he has to acknowledge that he's been uh, pretending, wearing some type of costume or disguise and acknowledge and reckon, uh, um, acknowledge and recognize this with the feminine to give this apology um, because this could be something that he wants to pursue with the feminine in the 3D, okay? Um, this is a 3D money and material want. So that's kind of what I'm getting. Or he could be feeling that the feminine, um, wants him in the 3D to get out of this fake energy and acknowledge, um, something here in the in the 3d so it could have to do with you know financial like you care more about financial or uh, even that pride ego i'm kind of getting here too so there could be something that he really um is focused on in the 3d of obtaining something that he wants um so it doesn't have to actually be um something uh, material it could be just something that he wants in the 3d when it comes to this feminine so let's get some cards to go along with this so like i said i'll go further and extend it uh, if you guys are new here these readings are meant to be like uh less than 15 minutes and then i do the extended uh readings um on my patreon account also if you guys um my instagram and tiktok is below for those of you guys um new so thank you all for everybody that um, has already subscribed over there. I'm about to go, I'm almost close to how many subscribers I have on YouTube on TikTok. So it's kind of a trip because I've had YouTube, uh, TikTok a whole lot shorter. So what is this acknowledged recognition that this masculine is thinking about when it comes to the feminine? Seven of Wands. Okay. Uh, he's defensive. OK, either either he's defensive or he feels that you are defensive. This is a card of blocking, overcoming obstacles, you know, standing your ground. So either he feels like you're standing your ground or he's standing his ground in his ego when it comes to this connection. So we have number seven that can be significant um, as well. So let's see what is this 3D money material wants that this masculine is thinking about when it comes to the feminine. So eight of swords. So he is in that energy of what are you doing to me? So he is in some type of uh, fear base because this eight of swords is your own mental prison. You can remove yourself from any any time from this. OK, it's your own prison that you built and it's a mental prison. He's definitely in his head. So he could be afraid to pursue what he truly wants or he feels that you are OK, like you you're. As you see, like there, her, she has like a rope around her, so it's almost like something is being held down. So I do feel like this masculine is like he's almost. I feel like it's him that's kind of holding back because he's afraid in some type of a way. Okay, so number eight can be significant as well. And then let's see, what is this costume pretending energy that the masculine is thinking when it comes to the feminine? Six of Swords. So he, either he feels like you are moving forward because he didn't uh, apologize or acknowledge the connection because he was too focused on the 3D 
and he may be seeing you moving forward and he's just leaving the troubled times behind. Um, this is swords energy, so this definitely could be you that he may be feeling like um, he's in a mental prison or, or he felt like he was put in a mental prison on his own doing from the feminine, okay? Um, however, that makes sense for you guys because there's a lot of swords and I see the feminine and the sword energy. So six of swords is a card of leaving the troubled times behind, going to calmer waters is a transitioning energy. So he may be thinking about transitioning out of this pretending energy or he feels like that you are leaving this because he's pretending. Okay, because remember, there's still this potential energy that he has. So it's like maybe this masculine thought, hey, I'm not going to come back. I'm not doing this. I'm in control of the situation. But now he may start to do going through a dark night of the soul. He may be wanting to be connected to this feminine. So that before, if he didn't see potential, now he's like starting to see some type of potential. Um, for those of them that are wanting to, you know, acknowledge this, even though he may be defensive right now, or he sees you as defensive. Okay. But he could be seeing you that you're, you're going away. Okay. That you, you're leaving behind this because this person is too much in their head and they're just too focused on the 3d world. Okay. They're not connected spiritually is what I'm getting. Okay. So I hope that, um, resonated for you guys. Um, if it did, please let me know by liking the video, comment. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And also, uh, don't forget to hit the notification bell if you want to get my latest videos and when I go live. I did a live uh, yesterday. Okay? So, I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. Um, also, anything you need to know will be below the video description. <laughs> to make sure I say that again. Because some people skip through parts. Um, so anyway, thank you guys so much. You guys have a wonderful day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. And until next time, next video, peace, love, and light.